Our starting point this morning, South Korea's senior presidential advisor has reaffirmed Seoul's attention to, intention to join the summit involving the world's seven major economies. He explained the G7 structure will be expanded to G11, but only if it gets unanimous consent from all G7 members. Our Kim Hyo-sun reports. South Korea's Deputy National Security Advisor has welcomed President Trump's proposal to expand the membership of the Group of Seven, reaffirming Seoul's intention to join the group. In an interview with local broadcaster KBS on Tuesday, Kim Hyun-jong said Seoul needs to coordinate how the country can participate annually in future meetings involving the leaders of top economies. He added that this needs to be raised during the upcoming G7 summit to be held in the U.S. capital in late August or early September. However, Kim stressed that the G7 structure should be expanded to G11 only on the condition that all G7 member states agree. The remark seems to take into consideration the objections voiced by Japan and Germany to the idea of creating a G11 or G12. President Trump has called for expanding G7 membership to 11 or 12 going forward, adding countries like South Korea, Australia, India and Russia to the group. He described the seven-country organization as obsolete. President Moon Jae-in has also endorsed Trump's proposal, explaining that the G7 structure faces limitations in dealing with mounting global challenges while he was on the phone with his U.S. counterpart early last month. The senior presidential advisor also touched upon the possibility of Chinese President Xi Jinping visiting Seoul this year after his planned visit in the first half fell through. Although Kim did not comment further on the detailed agenda items that could be discussed with the Chinese leader, he said they could range from Beijing-Washington relations, Seoul-Beijing trade relations to North Korean issues. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.